Washington. Mm hmm. What do we have to be? Tough. And? Brave. Yeah. See, and then you can see all the hair in it. Whoa. Now is it my turn? Yeah. Can you get it? Start at the top up here. Okay, I'll hold this part and then you can just pull. What's up, what's up? I am in here in this tiny elevator getting checked in and I'm on the third floor so I'll have to see if I can get you guys a little bit of my view. How are you, sir? Very good. Yourself? Good, thank you. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is warm here today. But uh, let's see. Might not be a, the best view. But it's a bit of it. Let's see what we got ahead here. I wish there was parking down there, right where my room would be at. Let's see what we got. And this is my room. Now here's the weird part. As the story goes, I got here and I checked in and I got up to the room and went to open it because you normally have a roommate and the bar was on the door and there was a woman laying in bed and so uh, I couldn't open it all the way and so I closed it and she came to the door. She was very nice and uh, opened the door. Turns out her boyfriend's a model. She came with him. So apparently the, uh, the place was supposed to be pairing two couples, but I'm not a couple. So there I was talking to uh, this lady and then her boyfriend came because um, he was working today and we figured that we figured out that there was supposed to be another couple with them, but I wasn't part of the couple. So while I was talking to the girlfriend, she uh, got a phone call, and it was from the front office, from the front desk. And the front desk realized they made a mistake because this was uh, pre pre planned. And so I went back down, and they gave me a um, a new room by myself. But here's the kicker: now. Before I left, they were saying that I might have a, a roommate with one bed that's female. My first thought was, are you clearing this with people? Like, are you okay that, you know, you may be giving, you know, uh, you know, an exchange of gender, you know, where the room is concerned. I said, you can't just throw a woman into a room with a guy and expect her to be okay with it. So... Um, now they think I might be by myself, but, uh, it's never, uh, never a dull moment in Palm Springs, question mark, question mark, but I'm here, safe and sound. <laughs> Enjoying some poolside here in Palm Springs. You guys know I'm not going to miss a day without uh, getting in the, uh, the hot tub. Taking advantage. Enjoy life for what it brings, guys. And, uh, yeah, try not to take these things for granted. I certainly don't because it doesn't happen often. 
All right, so I just finished eating dinner, um, all taken care of uh, by the photo festival. And this, what I'm showing you now, is the main lobby of the Hyatt. And this is where I registered at that big Palm Springs booth today. And then they've got all sorts of uh, booths from different companies throughout the festival. And actually the photographers can uh, submit at the end and they'll sit with other professionals who will rate their work. So it's a pretty cool setup. Um, I'm not staying here in the Hyatt, but this is where they uh, have the food and then I'll probably have something else to share when it comes to uh, later this evening because they do some stuff. Um, there will be something over at the uh, Palm Springs Museum. Um, they have all sorts of cool stuff put on, so I will uh, just keep plugging away and uh, sharing what I can. What's up everyone? I'm live here at downtown uh, Palm Springs area, and thanks to the Photo Festival for having me back uh, again. Got to see some uh, good people uh, from years past, and uh, tonight uh, I was doing some sock shopping and the girl in the store she was just extremely helpful so i uh asked her if she had a wish list of the socks because it's all the designer socks and all that so she showed me one and i asked her um, to allow me to pay the good fortune i've had forward by buying one of her pairs of socks so she said she would pay it forward and she was very grateful and then as soon as i stepped outside a guy asked me about about buying him some food. So I ended up getting him a coffee because that was what he wanted. But you know guys, uh, when you have it good and you can pay it forward, please take the opportunity to do so. Um, have a fantastic evening and I'll try and you know, drop in on you periodically while I'm here. Good morning, good morning. So this is uh, kind of the view. And I'm headed downstairs to get some food. Um, elevators are out of order, bummer. But better to have gotten uh, my luggage up. Last night, uh, good symposium, good presentations by uh, some of the uh, photographers, guest speakers. So, um, We'll get ready. I think I have to report to shoot today at 10. So I'm gonna come down, grab some breakfast, and then go back up and get myself situated. Let's see what they got. Good morning. Not bad, not bad, let's see. Good morning. Not bad options, so I'm gonna figure out maybe how to use that waffle maker and hope I don't burn the place down. So when the guy won't let us use his thing, but then he plays music, I'm just gonna dance in front of his house. Yeah, right in front of your house. Right in front of your house, I'm gonna be dancing. 
Okay, so here we go. Here's the guy who doesn't want us at the property. I was just dancing in front of his house. We think he's more pissed off, or his family's pissed off about the drone. So he just hopped into his little uh, get up here and was like zooming around and kicking up dust and everything. So we'll see if he actually leaves this time or if he's just gonna do like another circle around his house and screw with everyone again, because that's really what he's doing. But, you know, I wanna just try and get this because it's firsthand. You know, hillbilly, hillbillyism at its finest. Keep being uh, disagreeable until, until you know, people just leave. It's kind of like the shotgun policy sort of thing. He's actually driving pretty slow this time, so you know, it's all good. What's up, man? Hey, good music though. All right, so he's not being a, a jerk this time. Um, So, I don't know. I thought he was going to give me a Dukes of Hazard and I was going to be all covered in dirt, but it's all good. I'm only out here for the, uh, for the, for the enjoyable part of life, so um, that's about it for now. So, I am having to navigate a bunch of rocks and I'm going to be jumping on those boulders. I, apparently, that's what one of the photographers has in mind, but it's a pretty cool view over here. So, I'm just going to... Uh, strip down to my shorts and put my shoes back on oh look a fish head and uh, get to work but you can see way over there that's where the camp is at but the guy's got such a strong lens that he'll be able to uh, pick me up relatively closely all right guys so I'm out here at the Salton Sea and there's Skip we're just finished shooting and it's an awesome day anything else what else do we want Did he actually raise it now, or is that the same time? Did you raise it? Oh, you need to poke it? Here, uh, still at the photo shoot, and now we're doing some basketball stuff. It's fantastic. Uh, thanks to the uh, Impact Athletics Association philosophy, hard work pays off, and the world is a gym. I'm able to be uh, prepared and aware for this sort of uh, work that comes my way. HWPO, Impact Athletics Association. One more time. Photo shoot. You can hear him giving directions. A couple neighborhood kids while we're doing some dunks. All right. Out here shooting, neighborhood kids, they lend us a ball, and uh, we're getting some, some shots in. So guys, again, appreciate all the opportunities that come your way. All right, so I finished shooting rather late, um, as in late because there's a symposium to be at. I mean, it's optional, but 
Um, Dan Winters, the photographer today from the workshop, is speaking at it. And so I got home at 9.15, and that was just enough time to run in, take a shower, and get myself out the door. I didn't want to have to drive while I was in town, but I'm doing just that. And I'm just getting into the parking lot, which is full, which was one of my fears. And now I need to uh, get myself inside and situated. So um, been a fantastically busy and productive day. No complaints whatsoever. Just uh, reporting in and uh, sending sending a message for the moment. So I, uh, I'm going to get in here because I'm probably a little bit late for his introduction and uh, I will sign out for now. I just got through leaving the uh, symposium. I guess I didn't have to go to the symposium, but um, to have seen Dan speak, I think was important to him and it was important to me to be there. So, um, I mean, it ran so late that they even skipped on the... Uh, on the raffle that they normally do after the speakers speak so um you know it is what it is but i have to be now out in front of my hotel at 7 a.m so it's going to be an early morning all right everyone so um i'm here on the road in palm springs <clears throat> and um we had a late night at uh the symposiums and presentations fantastic but that's besides the point. So I get out, and I don't know the city, and most of the places are closed as far as food. So this is where I'm glad that I had uh, some canned tuna that I'd gotten from the dollar store before I even left on the trip. So you uh, don't necessarily have to be driving around or eating terribly every time you are out of town. Get your uh, meal plans or at least your game plan straight where uh, that's concerned and save yourself some money, calories, and, uh, and regret. So you guys have a fantastic day. Hopefully this helps. Good morning, everyone. So this is life on the road for many of you. As you know, you got to always have your stuff kind of spread out, game planning what you're going to have for the day. Last night, all the shops were closed, uh, so I brought the canned tuna that, from the dollar store that I got before I even left town. I'm over here hand washing uh, and drying with the dryer uh, some clothes because you can't always just go out and buy new ones because you're in town or whatever and you save money with the food and with the self laundry you save time and you uh, get to step back out prepared and uh, ready for the next day so guys have a fantastic day take advantage of all the opportunities you see this big mess over here but I wouldn't trade it for anything um, what's going on but right now we're getting ready to do uh, some more shooting in here. What's there up? There we go. <laughs> he came up with a super cool plan, so I'm excited for the pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And we got all sorts of good stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. America. This is America. Okay. Someone took that to me recently. Someone called me Mark, and I'm just like. Yep, that's me. I do the same thing. People, for some reason, call me Julie a lot, randomly. Really? Um, yeah, that, like so much that I'm just like, okay. I don't know what I'm thinking. I just want to start it after you. Yeah. Oh, it's fine. So, the sea stands are, uh... All right, all right. That was... Uh, it was a shorter day, but somehow it seemed a little bit longer just for uh, the heat and everything else. And there was like a constant changeover of outfits and things like that. So yesterday, the outfit that I showed up in, that I only meant to ride on the shuttle with uh, in comfort, is what everybody shot me in yesterday. So I never had to change clothes once. Today, I changed outfits constantly. It was a lot of times it was to the same outfit, but it was like a back and forth sort of thing. But here's the best part about getting back to your hotel room because after this morning, oh, it's all clean again. This is what I need. I need like a service that cleans your room and keeps it clean. So when you're gone, you come back and it's clean. But I digress. And I'll be back to reality pretty soon.
Those were my squats, as a quick example of the squats I did today. I did 10 sets of 10 and uh, left it at that after a long day. Out in the, uh, out in the heat, a little dehydrated, or underhydrated, I should say, and not fed quite as much as we probably should have been. So 100 squats um, that when I came up onto the toes, squeezing the glutes, and um, yeah, it should be peeled. What's up everyone? So I am here in the dining area at the Hyatt where they serve dinner um, to everyone, and I got here late, and they told me that uh, basically they had a whole bunch of food that take it with me. So there is this, this whole thing of quinoa wraps from Whole Foods that basically, and a whole thing of turkey that was gonna get thrown out. And they said, take it. And the lady got off for the night and left. Uh, here's my thing, give it away. There's people who are hungry right outside these streets and I've seen it. I just bought dinner for a guy or a coffee for, the, for a guy the other night. Don't tell me that it's about, you know, oh, well, you can get in trouble for doing that. Tell me that when you stop speeding, stop littering, and stop all the other nonsense, small, small time laws that, you know, we somehow seem to ignore when it uh, conveniences us. So guys, think, help. All right, all right, so I'm out here walking on Palm Springs, downtown strip, and I got a whole bunch of free food from the Hyatt. So I was gonna hand it out to, uh, some of the less fortunate in the area. I, I can skip uh, some of the events of the night going on right now for the festival in order to help some people out. So that's what I'm gonna try to do and hopefully uh, succeed in my attempts. So uh, have a good evening and uh, continue to uh, enjoy the process of life. I got some quinoa wraps. Not sure if uh, very hungry. I sure appreciate it. Cool. There's uh three uh three in a box. And since you are a growing man, why don't we give you two? Sure, I'll even go. Alright, and do you got any friends that you can pass some of this love on to? Please do. And if you eat them all yourself, <laughs> good on you man. I will. Alright, brother. I, if, if I can't find no one else, I'll eat them. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Absolutely. What's your name? Ray. My name's Alfonso. It's a I, I, I only do the high five. Okay, how about knuckles? No. Just high five? Yeah. Low? All right. And back? All right, All right man. You take care. All right, man. Be well, brother. And it's that simple. So check this out. It's one of those mini homes. How cool is that? Let's see if we can see here, Scandinavian designs. Got your bathroom in there. A little kitchen got all your stuff that I guess you would need just to live minimally and cameras up in the corners <laughs> this would be great on a piece of land big enough to where you didn't have to be in it all the time oh and there's all their info not bad not bad at all How's it going, man? Good, I got your photos all edited up. Oh, did you? Wow. <laughs> man, that's fantastic work. <laughs> 
That is awesome. Yeah. I'll send them all. There's like eight more too. So. Man, thank One, you so like, much. Crazy close up one too. That's like super sharp. That's awesome. Congrats, yeah. man. Thank yeah, you so send, much. Send them. I, they have all your info, so I'm gonna give them all to them tomorrow. I think. Unless you have, you have my Instagram handle. I. Have Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Alright, so free bar and quite a few beers later. Alright, that's what free shuttles are for. When you have free bar, you have free shuttles. This has been an uh, awesome event and uh, got to do some really cool stuff. So, been hanging out with a lot of these people, good people. And I think I showed you the art stuff earlier. We'll go back over a couple of it. I am, so. It's my man Daniel. Cheeky and Cha Cha. <laughs> Those are my girls. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, should be nice. Oh, wait a minute. Hi. Let me skip back. <laughs> okay, well, Monet and Sajani. Hey, Monet and Sajan. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right, love you. What's up, athletes? So I know that I say the world is a gym, but sometimes the world has a gym. So I'm using it today while I'm on the road. The one thing I'll say is make sure that the equipment that you're using is calibrated and safe for you to use. Also that your uh, workout area is relatively clean. I'm using this backwards today because this piece is a little bit loose for my for my liking, but all in all, the uh, the facility itself looks relatively clean. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to go home or back to my room and wash my hands thoroughly and get cleaned up and everything else. So, guys, it's just little pointers. Um, this would be a perfect place to use if you're at night, if you don't know the area, uh, situational awareness, and your safety first. Have a fantastic uh, day, workout, HWPO, hard work pays off. Impact Athletics Association.